Hey guys, this video is about uh, tips to if it's your first winter, how to survive your first winter in Canada, where the uh, where the temperatures are extreme, and it is today is like fifteenth uh, of November, and winter has officially started in Canada. Hello guys, welcome to my channel Travel with Sobia Jeb, where I post about Canadian immigration and our. Uh, vlogs about our Canadian life, how we are settling in. For, uh, we came on 1st January uh, 2019 and so we are almost going to complete one year of our uh, journey here um, as new immigrants. So um, officially winter has started in Canada and this time it's uh, early and when last year when we landed here uh, the Canadians were very sad because, you know, as they say, a white Christmas, uh, they couldn't experience white Christmas last year. So they were very upset and everybody was like, you know, talking about it and upset about it. But now they are expecting a white Christmas because it's, it's, there was no fall like uh, yesterday, the whole day, like from morning till evening. And it's so cold today. It's almost like minus, uh, uh, it's minus four today and it feels like minus 10. Tip number one, uh, how to survive your first winter in Canada is no matter how cold it is or it's snowing, um, just wear your winter gear, proper winter gear, not uh, incomplete, nothing incomplete because then you'll um, definitely fall sick and uh, you don't want that so just get prepared with your winter gear wear all your gloves your inners your outer jackets your hats gloves and uh, your winter boots so tip number three layer up there is nothing like layering up in the winters which is going to save you from a lot of um, problems it's very important to cover your head neck and your feet because uh, you catch cold from uh, your extremities so it's like very very important to you know cover yourself up okay the kids are all layered up uh, as you sit in the car as they sit in the car in their car seats it's very difficult and uh, when you have to get out for grocery or even that five minutes walk uh, till you get inside the grocery uh, store is actually going to be very difficult. So if you layer up, it's very easy to remove layers one by one. Go out in the, like there is no sun, I agree, but then go out in the uh, daylight. Why? Because this, this, this is really important because if you are living in a basement or even if in apartments, when it snows or it rains or it's really cloudy, it's very, very, you know, uh, it gets depressing. And uh, because even it's, it's our second winter here because we came here in last December and this is our second winter here. So officially we have seen the, you know, the, the winter starting like from day one. So uh, I can tell you that I was, you know, I was down for the first few days, like for the first four or five days, I was literally down. Then what I did was started taking the kids outside in the garden in our backyard and spending some time there uh, doing nothing, just, you know, watching the daylight, watching the trees and uh, just just uh, go out uh, have a drive uh, if you have a car or if you can take a bus or something just go for a ride go to a mall but just make use of this daylight tip number four to survive uh, in the first winters in canada uh, is to hydrate properly hydration you know when you know that you have to go out uh, within an hour or half an hour um, try to drink lots and lots of water, hot beverages to keep yourself warm and hydrated. And uh, moisturize yourself deeply because your skin is the first, like, you know, thing when it comes to, uh, when it, it comes in contact with the harsh uh, weather, it uh, tends to lose moisture and it wrinkles up, it becomes itchy and you'll get frustrated. 
you know that's for sure so just take care of the moisturization and not only when you go out it's uh, very important to keep yourself uh, keep your skin moisturized um, for um, even when you are at home whenever you wash your hands or face or feet just do that apply moisture uh, um, apply uh, moisturization regularly Tip number five is uh, go to your friends, uh, meet them, have a good time there, have dinners, parties. Hello. Do whatever you can indoors, go to the malls, whatever you can on weekends just to keep yourself busy and uh, you know, do, do some shopping, whatever is remaining, just do that, whatever is pending because now winter is going to stay for the next uh, five six months and so you cannot stay at home tip number six is to download the weather app uh, the weather network app in your phones and check that regularly and you have to check that because in in, on, in ontario it's um, very likely that you know in the morning you have plus 10 temperature and in the by the evening or night it will turn to minus 10 so it's uh, hmm. so my friends uh, in Canada as the weather gets extreme uh, sometimes so you have to prepare yourself before leaving your house or office you have to check some online weather details what we use on our mobile phones is an application called Weather Network. It is a very famous one, used uh, widely in Canada. And uh, it will always tell you your predictions of the entire week. So you can prepare yourself, your kids, your office, your home, according to that. And even it's sometimes like whenever you're leaving home. So that is a must, especially during the winters. Tip number seven to survive your first winters in Canada is uh, to um, always have extra phone batteries, whatever phone you are, you are carrying. And especially this happens, this is the problem with iPhones that whenever you're going out in the winter, uh, like in the cold, uh, the iPhone batteries, they die very soon. So you have to keep your charged power banks or extra batteries or extra phone whatever is feasible for you you know just to be safe and just not to uh, get into any trouble uh, with uh, without any phone and this uh, is valid for like you know people who are on the go like who are walking uh, to the bus stop or in during the bus like who don't travel by car because uh, whenever you take out your phone uh, you'll experience this you'll experience this yourself that you know whenever you take out your phone from your pockets in the cold uh, you will find the batteries um, draining, you know, as I, I don't know wh why it's the, the, this problem coming with iPhones, but that's how it is. So it's always better to be prepared.